or your money back. Thinking about breast augmentation, it's time to stop thinking and act. Months, John Moss Jr. is the youngest child to finish basic swimming at the Encino YMCA, earning a level one certificate. Incredible. Can you excuse me for a minute? Yeah, yeah, sure. Hey, you know what? I'm glad we're doing this, getting together. Yeah. It's important. Me too. She's on toe, Edward? It's called point, Mom. Personally, I'm on heel. You mean you are a heel. <laughs> Edward knows I love him. You guys want anything? Um, we're done, actually. Hey, what happened to all the leftover Chinese? There was a ton. Oh, I you know I threw that out. I didn't like the smell. Look young. It's just that you look younger than you do than you did when. <laughs> Thank you, Edward. <laughs> All right then. All right. Bye, Edward. Bye. Edward likes this misogynist trash. Sorry. Misogynist? Oh yeah. Isn't that your album? Last year's. Oh. Thanks for the brats. You're staring at me. Am I? You're getting tall, you know. Yeah? Tall and skinny. Yeah, I noticed. I like it, don't you? You're beautiful. Hey, we got any big plans this weekend? I don't think so. OK. 
because um, Dad asked this morning at breakfast if I could spend the weekend, and I just, you know, I wanted to check with you first. It's fine. Okay. Gotta share the wealth, you know. <laughs> Yum, it smells good in here. What? This. For you. Thank you. You're gonna make me fat. <sighs> what about you? Oh, I woke up ravenous. I already ate everything I could get my hands on. And um, I'm meeting Melanie early so she can copy my math homework. Are you responsible for everyone's math homework? How do they pass tests? Never mind, I don't want to know. Sit down, okay? Okay. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Oh. Gotta go. Love ya. Okay. Mm -hmm. Have a good day. Hey. Thanks. Be careful. I love you. Jessica's gross. She wears way too much makeup. Oh, what is she thinking? She looks like a slut. <laughs> I like glitter, though. Yeah, I like glitter. Is she coming to your party? Of course. Everyone is. Well, everyone except dorks. Like Mark. Like Mark. Like Edward. Like any seventh grade. Yeah, seventh graders are the worst smelling people in the whole world. <laughs> Did we smell that bad last year? Tell them I'll fix when I get back. Hey. Um, I'll call you from the car. Why don't you guys come on in? Dr. Moss? You got it. Let's go, Rachel. Come on. Do you know why you're here, Rachel? Rachel. You're gonna help me? What would you like me to help you with? Do you want to tell me how you see things? Yeah, I am. Um, I'm really trying, you know, but uh, she lies, she steals, she's bossy with her little stepsister who's a doll, and she's not listening. Look at her. See, this is just the kind of thing that she does. What makes you think Rachel's not listening? Well, look at her. I mean, she's tuned out. You think she tunes you out? Yes. You think there's any problem with Rachel's hearing? No. Well, she's not talking, and she's not being distracted right now. I think it's safe to assume she heard us. Yeah. OK. Rachel, you want to tell me how you see things? No? Hey, you know what? I have some coloring books. Would you like to color in one of them? You can take your pick. You know, I'm really worried about her. I mean, she's not doing well in school. She has no friends. I mean, she tells me that nobody likes her. Is that what it feels like when you're at school? Who else lives in your home? My uh, wife, Gail, and her daughter, Emily, who just turned five. She's an adorable child, very loving, you know, fun to be with. She doesn't understand why Rachel is always so mean to her. I mean, there's a scene every day. It's like none of us can ever just relax. It must be very hard for you, Rachel. Wow, an orange sky, that's very creative. You know, it's like what Howard Stern would say. I mean, in the old days there were dogs and then there were babes. Like there were two separate entities. And now we live in the greatest time in history because you can turn a dog into a babe, you know, plastic surgery, boob job, whatever. I think that if you can do something about your looks, damn well better. You know those bracelets everybody wears anymore? And Mr. Cutler is so stupid. He goes up to the seventh grader and he says, what are those bracelets? And the kid is so stupid, he goes, well, they're supposed to look like tattoos. <laughs> well, they're so not supposed to. So Cutler bans them from the school. Lame. Totally lame. So what are we doing this weekend? Oh, um, I got my dad. Sorry. What are we doing this weekend? 
Hey, you. Look at this. Oh. That's oh, the way. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Beth, do you want to go shopping tomorrow? Would that be fun? Yes, fine. Yeah. What are you going to do tomorrow, Dad? I'll be around. I just wanted to give you two a chance to do that girl thing. Ready for dessert? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay, you're up. Can we do that? Oh, big guy. There's more. There's more? Yeah. Oh. Give me the spoon back. Give me the spoon back. Did you tell Irene it was delicious? It was. Did you tell her? It was. What's you reading? Um, turn offs to guys will be surprised at what you don't know. Oh. I've got eight out of twelve. No way. That's alarming, huh? <laughs> <laughs> You're so gorgeous. I wish I'd frozen you ten. You're growing up so fast. I'm not gonna. I'm afraid you are. You know, Irene and I have lived in this house, what? Two, two and a half years. You haven't brought any of your stuff over. We want you to make that room your own. Okay. Okay. What, Dad? Nothing. Life is good. You're happy, right? Yeah, Dad. I'm fine. I didn't ask if you were fine. I asked if you were happy. Yes, Dad. I'm really happy. Darling, can you help me with the baby, please? Coming! She loves you, you know. No, nothing, nothing. I just, I wanted to see if you're okay. How was work? Um, just getting ready to go to bed. You? Everyone's asleep, actually. I know, I know. Can't sleep. What's new? <laughs> Irene wants to take me shopping tomorrow, but you know how she dresses. She wears those chopsticks in her hair. It's like she's ready for a stir-fry emergency. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure, Mom, I would never say that to her. <laughs> you must think I'm socially inept. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was good. Very gourmet. Yeah, okay. Love you, too. Night. Look at her. She's a knockout, huh? Some kid we got there. I know. So, you busy? Yeah. Oh, good. Listen, when your schedule and our schedule fall into some kind of line, maybe we can all have dinner or something. Sure. Good. Irene asked me to ask. That's really nice. And you can invite, um, uh, what's his name? Harold. Well, what's his name isn't in the picture anymore. Oh, I'm sorry. I liked him. <laughs> I'll tell him. <laughs> well, <clears throat> it's nice you uh, remain friends. Yeah, thanks. So I'll check my book and then I'll call you? Uh, or Irene? Right. I'll give her my best, Irene, okay? Okay. Good then. Bye, Daddy. Bye. I love you, baby. 
see you. You want to give me your clothes? I'm doing a load. Develop that. Point your toes. Very light. Beautiful. And it's beautiful. The fingers. And one, and two, and three. Straighten your knees. Your hands. Wonderful. And one, speak with your bodies. Wonderful. And one, and two. Chin up. Wonderful. Straighten your knees. Chin up. Beautiful. Reach out. Reach out. And attitude. And hold it. What's wrong? I'm fine. It's just a uh, low blood sugar. You sure? Don't tell my mom. Okay. Are you okay? And one and two. And one and two. Watch your, watch your fingers. You were really good at that. Thanks. Um, Stasha offered to pick me up from school, drive me to class, and drop me off after. Really? It's quite a commitment. Well, it's on our way. Not all right with you? No, it's fine. Hi. Hi. Hmm. I'll grab my coat and we'll be with you. Okay. okay. This one dances in a soul. <laughs> She said if I started younger, I'd be on my way to the Bolshoi by now. <laughs> Were you gonna take me to Melanie's party? Yeah, I thought so. Oh my god, I totally forgot. I'm sorry. And my backpack's in Stasha's car. Well, did you ask her to drive you? Thanks for your offer to chauffeur. <laughs> it's on my way. And we have time to talk. Besides, this one likes to talk. <laughs> Mom, so is it okay if I go with Stasha? Whatever you want. We fight over you, yeah? <laughs> Sorry for my English. Your English is amazing. I feel like my English is collapsing. <laughs> you should call and let me know you got there all right. Thanks, Stasha. You're really good, Mel. This wall is so cool. Yeah, my mom's pretty cool, let me do it. It was her idea, practically, I mean. She like worked on it with me and stuff. Bonding. Great. Whoever buys this house inherits all my memories, right? And then, like in 50 years, somebody will come in and find it under 12 coats of paint. It'll be like an artifact. Oh, God, I am so that. Well, Jessica's mom said if she like loses 10 pounds, she's going to buy her an entirely new wardrobe. My mom never does cool stuff like that. Oh, Beth, did you tell your mom about the paper? I'm not going to. What is it? Why don't I know? But Lynn Irwin, the last paper, well, Beth turned it in and it's like a final for what it counts. And he didn't believe she wrote it. He's not even going to give her a grade. What do you mean he doesn't believe she wrote it? Well, it's too good, so he won't grade the paper. Well, did you? Have you read Beth's papers? So now what? She has to prove she wrote it. That doesn't even sound legal. My mom would have butt lint's ass. Yeah, mine would go ballistic. So what are you gonna do? I mean, he's gonna give you an incomplete. But. <laughs> <laughs> it's that novelty candy. Gruesome. Want some? This stuff has calories, you know. Oh my god, it's gonna get in my dress! Is that what you're wearing? Oh, Greg's coming. 
He had Brad call to see if you were coming. Yeah? I am insanely jealous. He's like one of the hottest guys in school. If you two go out, you'll be considered one of the hottest girls. <laughs> Not close. Get out. You guys are on crack. <laughs> I'm a cow. You know, I heard you can get life in Brazil for like a thousand bucks. I read that Julia Roberts is all lipo. Well, I'm saving my money. <laughs> I am! You just don't eat. That's how you do it. Oh, I, I eat. I never see you. You ever see her eat, Mel? I eat tons. I mean, if you put it in, it just stands to reason you can take it out. You don't? What? Well, only when I feel like it. I don't believe you. Show me. No. Yes. You are sworn to secrecy. Promise. I so promise. You too, Sophia. Say it. Okay. Okay. I only do it when I overeat sometimes, you know. Like that. Farther back. But I haven't eaten, so I can't do it right now. Did you? I had a whole bunch of marshmallows just before you came over. Okay, that's perfect. <coughs> Here, uh -huh. use a toothbrush. It tickles more. <gasps> oh, I forgot. Always put it on the water so it covers up the choking. The after effect is amazing. You love it. How come you can do it and I can't? Sorry. Mel, you got some cool food here. Yeah, I know. How's it going? Good. 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 Uh, did you see Mel's room yet? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty dope, huh? I mean, all the writing on the wall and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. Uh, I mean, I gotta load up. I guess I'm on the list. <laughs> I guess you must be. <laughs> um, that's a really pretty dress. My mom bought it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I really like purple. Purple and magenta are really nice. I mean, I really like magenta, too. Did you eat yet? Yeah, thanks. What's wrong? Um, <laughs> nothing. I just, I don't know, I just get a little choked up sometimes. I'm a little off <laughs> kilter or something.
Nothing. Oh, Beth. Thanks for putting the seat down. <clears throat> is this your house or your office? This is my office. It looks like a house. You've got a lot of toys. I don't think this is an office. Do you punish children who break your toys? No. Toys generally have a way of breaking if you play with them enough. Rachel gets punished. She breaks my toys, she pinches me sometimes, and she lies about it. Really? What happens then? Mommy tells Phil and she gets it. That little girl can really get to you. How does she do that? How does she get to you? She just knows how to push your buttons. How do the two of you express anger with each other? Oh, no, we don't. We don't get angry with each other. We really don't. Hmm. If radio affords me some kind of anonymity so I can say it. If I had it to do over again, Dave, I would never have had children. <laughs> I mean, the couples I know who didn't, well, I, yeah, 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 they don't know the depths of love and all that crap. But, you know, they had intact lives. How many kids have you got? Four. All thrown and out of the oh. house, thank God. <laughs> Is that it then? Oh, um, can you just give me the subtotal? Because I've only got 20 bucks. Sure. Tuesday or Wednesday? I was gonna tell you. Were you? Well, what do you think? I think maybe this isn't like you. I needed some school stuff. Stuff? School stuff. Group project. We're building a model. It was my share. That's a hefty share. Not really. <laughs> See, well, first off, that's Gloria's money. She's coming today and now I'm 20 short. I'm sorry. I meant to tell you. I meant to get it back out of my allowance. Can you leave her a check for the rest? You look a little pale. Do you feel all right? Yeah. Do you want me to make you something before I go? No, no, I'm fine. Do I need to worry about you? Never. Please don't do the shrink stuff, Mom. What's going on with you? Nothing. Well, what's this about an incomplete? Wow. I got a letter. <laughs> wow. Well? I was gonna talk to you about that. Gee, things are slipping your mind right and left. Yeah, I guess. Well? What, now? <sighs> I have a few minutes. Damn. What? Sorry, um... I just... I turned in a paper he said I couldn't have written. He said I plagiarized it. Why? He said it was beyond me. Well, you wrote it, so it's obviously not. Do you want me to talk to him? God, no, you'll just make it worse. I will not. Anything you would say is gonna make it worse, trust me. His favorite topic is parents who throw their weight around. <laughs> well, I don't want you to have an incomplete you don't deserve. Well, I'll just write another paper. Dumber. I don't think so. Jeez. Beth. I know you believe in defending your work. You're allowed to protest. Okay, Mom. I just, you know, I don't want him to hate me, okay? A teacher can't hate you for being too smart. You wrote the paper. End of story. Okay, I'll talk to him. Okay. I know. Oh. Uh. I feel like I'm annoying her. I used to be the first person she told anything and everything to. I was her confidant. Now I'm someone who'll make things worse. I think it's hard for a 14-year-old girl to stand up to an adult, to her teacher yet. Hmm. I was talking about myself. 
Deja vu. When Nina was 15, she turned in such a great paper on Emily Dickinson, they wouldn't believe she wrote it. Mom, you wrote it. Oh, I did not. When I went to sleep, I was crying. It was a mess. When I woke up, it was typed. It was finished. You understood it. Her real point. <laughs> and I was so proud of you. The way you stood up for yourself when those accusations were flying. I had to sign a paper saying that she wrote it herself. Are you sure that's something you want to brag about, Mom? <laughs> well, I just think that you and Beth are fine. Fine. Okay, if I go first, you have to promise you won't chicken out, okay? I won't. My biggest fear is... It's hard to explain. Who's chickening out? Okay. My biggest fear is becoming different in some weird way. Never mind. No, no, come on. I mean, my mom talks to me about some of her patients, how they hate their kids or they don't want them. They get married bunches of times, and I think I'm not like that, you know, that it, that won't happen to me. Yeah, okay. I wonder, you know, how, how adults can be so stupid. And then I think, well, they were kids once, and they probably thought grown-ups were stupid, too. It's like getting older makes you forget all the stuff you knew when you were a kid. We both know that we won't be like that. So did they. That terrifies me. My biggest fear is that I'll never have a boyfriend. I mean, I'm going to be in the ninth grade and not have gone out with <laughs> anybody. <laughs> okay, I feel like this deep. <laughs> no, don't. I completely understand. I do. It seemed really serious when I was thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> what am I gonna do with you? You're a bad girl, you're a bad girl. I want you to stop it, stop it. Send her away, send her away. I don't want her here anymore. I hate her. You want to come in and join us? Did Rachel tell you what happened this week? I mean, she really asked for it. She stole Emily's hair clips. She literally, she took the clips off Emily's head. I get a call at the office from Gail. Look, I'm a very busy person and I have to run home. And do you know what she did? She denied it. <clears throat> Wait, Gail called you at the office to tell you that Rachel had taken hair clips? Well, she was very upset. Look, she is the one that needs to take some responsibility here. That's true, but it sounds like Gail was overwhelmed. Well, that's not the point. <laughs> I'd like to see Rachel able to tell you when she's hurting. I think it would help, Phil. You know what? I don't like this. What? I don't like any of this. What don't you like, It's time Phil? to go, Rachel. Come on. Bye. What don't... Phil, please. Let's... You know, I think I could practice forever and still not ever be a really good dancer. What's up? Dasha knows you can. She's an expert. The little girl, your patient, is everything going to be okay? I don't know. The mother's unfit, so she's out of the picture. The father has a new family, and they just want the little girl gone. They blame her for everything. <sighs> She sometimes feel like strangling people. It has crossed my mind. 
I have to think about the child. I'm her advocate. So, what are you gonna do? I'd like to explore where it all came from, but I can't if he doesn't bring her back. <sighs> but I mean, what can you do for a kid that nobody wants? I want to give her a voice. She's angry, and I want to help her find a way to get that out. But it means a lot of work. But she's all alone. I hope he brings her back, Mom. Me too, baby. Thank you. Now you try and get some rest. Stop the Hey. Good night. Good night, brain. Good night. Good Hey, thought I'd call, see how you're doing. Hey, Mom, I'm okay. Did you take your temperature recently? I don't have one. I mean, I have one, it just, it hasn't changed since you took it this morning. Edward's over. He's catching me up on the class stuff I've been missing. Good. Can I call you back later? Or, you know, we'll talk when we get home. What? This patient, can you help me with her? Hello? Okay, yeah. Okay. I love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye bye. You know what? Even if I had the flu, my mom wouldn't let me stay home for three days. And you don't even look sick. Well, I am. And why should she care as long as I get my work done? Well, I hope you know that we're all gonna flunk math now. Oh, did you hear about Sophia? Greg said she should get a nose job and she took off running from the room. Greg? In front of everybody? Yeah, he's real mean about it. And then Miss Jamali gave her a detention for leaving class without permission. Said she was oversensitive. Poor Sophia. Is she okay? I, I guess. I mean, it's kind of sad though, you know? I've never seen her cry before. Did you do that biography? Um, I'm gonna finish it after you leave. You know, I was going to do Sarah Michelle Geller, but instead I'm going to do my ballet teacher. She's Russian. She's had an amazing life. Oh, that's cool. Who's Sarah Michelle again? Buffy. Oh, yeah, right.
multiply both sides by the common denominator 2q, and they will disappear. So what you will have left is minus 3 and a half x plus 7y plus 60 plus 4x. Did you rewrite the button paper? I made it sound like a third grader wrote it. <laughs> Beth, why don't you take us to the conclusion? This is a hard one. <gasps> Sorry. Okay, sit. What you do is combine like terms on both sides of the equation. Here you have minus three and a half x plus four x. So what you're left with here is half x plus seven y. from that bastard Phil Page since he stormed out of my office. You called? Left messages twice. Can't get over how little he feels for his own kid. How's your kid doing, better? That's back in school. Good. My good. kid's a giant. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was as pulled together as my kid. This man stands to inherit $500,000 in the next six months. And these 30 beautiful women will compete. Dr. Moss? I mean, Nina? Rachel? Hi. Hi. I'm not going to be able to come today. My dad got tied up. Is your dad there? You want to talk to him? If I could, Rachel. Guaranteed, you'll lose weight fast. Side effects may include stomach cramps, constipation, seizures. Some subjects you? may experience prolonged episodes of diarrhea. Urges may be frequent and uncontrolled. Hi, hello there. Check with your doctor before you submit Yeah, I got tied up. Rachel, turn that off, will you? It's important that Rachel doesn't miss any of her sessions. Look, I've given Rachel a lot of time this week. Now, I've given up my own time. In fact, she had a half day today and I came home to get her lunch. And I'm gonna drop her off with a friend. Go get ready. She's not neglected. Are you considering changing her therapist? No, no. Rachel will be there next week, okay? That's good. Okay, I'll see her then. Hey, Beth. I'm Mrs. Moss. Oh. Hi, Nina. Come on in. I'm gonna take you to get your manicure. Sorry, Mom. What on earth are you sorry about? Why didn't you call me? They couldn't get through. I made an appointment with Maddie. Good. You don't pick up when you're with your patients. She called me. Why didn't you call your grandmother? She called me, all right. That's who she's supposed to call after you. The kid is passing out in school. You're not paying attention. At 10 o'clock tomorrow, I think you should be there. Of course. What's going on? What's going on? I take it your professional diagnosis is malingering? Not this kid. What's malingering? Pretending. John, I need a word with my daughter alone. Do you mind? Look, I just want Dr. Maddie to run some tests and rule out the worst, that's all.
her well enough for me to take you home. Can I stay? No. Of course you can stay. I'm sorry. Don't be silly. There's nothing to be sorry about. If you're anemic, we'll take care of it. Uh, rest in liquids, just the usual routine. So anything else, Beth? No. Uh, how's school? Good. Beth's doing great in school. Good. Sleeping OK? Yeah. Uh -huh. She stays up late. Hmm. But I sleep fine. Well, if you have to go into school, I think it's okay. Does that sound good? Huh? Yeah, I skipped the dancing for a while and I'll write you a note for PE. Is she eating okay? Beth? What? I had the flu. I wasn't hungry. And, but, but when I do eat, I eat tons. <laughs> Kids, they get away with murder. Remember having metabolism like that? <laughs> I don't want to think about it. <laughs> In the meantime, don't worry. I think Beth's just got a little, uh, Midlife crisis going there. <laughs> you want to go home and change before I drop you off at school? Okay. You think I'm making it up? No. I think you need to see someone. No way. If you're not going to talk to me, then you need to talk to someone. I talk to you. Fine, I'll just tell them what they want to hear. I know how to do that. Why? Why would you do that? Why? What do you have to hide? This is psycho! Why are you so angry? Don't start, please. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry I'm being so awful, okay? I just, I'd really like to go to school. Because I missed so much and I'm worried about my grades and stuff. Okay, I'm just, I'm sorry I'm such a bitch all of a sudden. Can we go? What's this? It's, um, it smells cat. Here's my doctor's note. Feeling better? Yeah, thanks. So what's the doctor say? Um, they don't know. Maybe anemia? Probably. They, um, they did some tests. Well, see ya. Can you hang on just a second, Beth? Have a seat. You know, some of your friends are really concerned about you. Oh? Are you surprised? <sighs> I understand you've been purging. Excuse me? Vomiting bit. I was sick. Not just since you've been sick. You're an honor student, right? Is there a lot of stress surrounding that? Surrounding having to be perfect? Are you making yourself throw up, Beth? Um, <laughs> I was just showing off. I don't do it anymore. Beth, you know, someone's going to have to tell your mom. I don't do it anymore. Hey, if you like, we can do it together. I could be there with you. Or you could tell her. Okay. But I need.
need your word. Okay. I can take that to the bank, right? Right? I have nothing to say to you, or her. Sorry. We didn't know what else to do. Who asked you? You're my friend. Missy. You look like a dying swan. Very dramatic. What? I'm in big trouble. Be brave, okay? Weren't you not supposed to go to class? Oh. Well, I, I didn't as it turned out. I, I was too tired, I just watched. <sighs> Maybe it is anemia. Did Dr. Maddie call? Everything seems to be negative. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. We'll know more tomorrow. Bad day? Why? Because you're sitting in the dark. You have homework? Yeah, and ten. You want me to make you something? There's no. chicken, pasta, eggs? It's okay. I'll do it. Well, I want you in bed before ten, okay? Okay. I need to talk to you, okay? To tell you something. And I don't want you getting upset because I don't do it anymore. All right. Grow up sometimes. <laughs> you know, just to lose weight and stuff. You don't do it anymore? I'm not going to. How long have you been doing it? What does that mean? What does that mean? You don't it's, know? What? It's just a, you know, God, it's just not a big deal. Yes, it is. It's a big deal. I'm sorry. You're so disappointed in me. Me too. How come you're telling me now? Everyone says I have to. Everyone? Well, you know, my counselor, Stasha. Why are you so mad? First, because you're doing this thing. And second, because I don't know how I could be so blind. It's not so much as throwing up or whatever, because I understand that's a symptom. I want you to be in therapy. No. No? You have no say in this. Oh, we'll see. You have no vote. You understand? This decision is not yours. You think? I don't know you. I won't do it anymore. You betrayed me. You betrayed my trust. This is not about you. I think it is. I think it's very much about me and you. I think it's about what goes on between us. <laughs> this is not about you. It's not about you.
me. <laughs> Nobody knows me. <laughs> you aren't here. I'm here. <laughs> I'm always here. <laughs> what have I done? Oh, Mama. Mama, Mama. glad you're here, Beth. I'm gonna tell you straight off, I'm not gonna try to twist your arm or control you. Okay. Just to let you know, I was anorexic, so I know what it's like. You were lucky. Why do you think I was lucky? Because she didn't have to think about food. Just didn't eat. Well, that's not true. I always thought about food. I thought about it, I dreamt about it. I was always starving. And I was out of control, like you are. You weren't out of control. You stuck to your diet, and I can't. Yeah, I stuck to my diet. Now I break my bones all the time. And I'm sterile. I'm not trying to scare you. My mom's a shrink, you know. Yeah, I do, in fact. So does that mean that you know all my tricks? Or that you can't trust me? No. Do you think I'm in some kind of cahoots with her? Cahoots? She got my name from a colleague of a colleague, so I'm kind of at a three remove. It's not a big deal. I'm not here to take this away, Beth. If only you can make the decision to do that. I'm here to help you understand why you do it. If it wasn't serving you in some way, you wouldn't be doing it. What upset you about what I just said? Because I don't do it anymore. I know it's sick and disgusting, and I don't do it anymore. It was just when I ate too much. And when you feel full? We don't have to talk about food if you don't want. What does your dad do? Import, export. He has a trophy wife and a baby boy. You're not too keen on her. She's fine. He likes her fine. And your mom? <laughs> 
We are not going to diss my mom, okay? Of course not. I would like to sit and talk to her if that's okay with you. Answer some questions, you know, fill her in. Is that okay with you? Always know where I'll be 15 minutes after dinner. <laughs> yeah, I mean, barfing gives me such a sense of security. Totally. Because I keep having it and I don't know what it means. And what do you remember about the dream? Okay, I'm a feather and I'm falling down from the sky and when I hit the ground I become a tiger. A white one like those magicians in Vegas have. You gonna take it? I would, if I thought it was worth the potential hassle. I mean, skipping's bad enough. If I get caught stealing, my mom goes berserk. I'm screwed up, okay? So just shut your trap. Excuse me? God, Beth, go to hell. I was just trying to make you feel better. You make me feel real great, Melanie. Miss Stucka. I'm out of here. I am so sick of your drama. Nicks on her hand from her teeth. So she's doing it a lot. And she's telling you, me, everyone that it's not happening. She hates it, but she can't stop. She kept staying home from school saying she felt sick. Well, if they can, bulimics tend to wall off stay home alone and do their thing at well all day. I feel so stupid. Hey, come on. If you're not actively looking, the signs are practically invisible. Why would you know the simple things like water running in the bathroom or her saying that she had already eaten the signals? Besides, she kept you at a distance so you wouldn't see her too clearly. I mean, think about it, Nina. No offense to your ex, but she had to pick her up from school because he hasn't got a clue. She had to protect her secret. I've been in such denial. It's not your fault. She couldn't talk to me. Nina. How did we get here? There's so much that affects kids. So many influences, pressures, media, school, peers. They can't control the world outside, so they control the world inside. Exactly. That happens to the brightest and the beautiful. I keep seeing it younger and younger. Three-year-olds thinking they're fat, not eating. Our understanding of the disorder is evolving. What we know is that it's not about getting skinny. That's what it looks like. But it's about emotions. It's about pain. A person stuffs bad feelings down with food, then releases it by purging. Immediately after that, the endorphins kick in, and they feel great. It's a feeling that they have to have over and over again. I 
every day that she's doing this, she's destroying her body a little bit more. She's not even fully grown. She might be doing permanent damage to herself. We don't know that she's done that yet. We'll find out. Taking her to the doctor was the right first step. Bringing her to me, also the right move. You're doing the right things. This will be hard, Nina. To be at home, know what's happening, hearing the water running, <laughs> and not stopping her. Parents always want to do the control thing. It doesn't work. Understand that. It's gonna take a systematic approach. I need to gain her trust. Well, I what? Just love her. You already know how to do that. Listen, um, thanks for meeting me here. Thank you. I gotta get going now, too. I got rounds to make. I know this might sound like it's coming out of left field, but my mother's offered to take Rachel for a while. And what are your feelings about that? Well, mixed, but I know it's not productive to feel guilty. I'd like to talk to Rachel, if that's all right. Skip school. I, I, where were you? Stasha's. Don't lie. I called everyone. I've talked to everyone. Your dad's out looking for you. He called the police. I'm a horrible person. Okay? Okay, okay, I promise to stop. I promise, I promise. What else am I gonna find? I need to use the bathroom. Why are you doing this to yourself? <laughs> Mom, I really need to go in there. <laughs> I love you. I don't want you to hurt yourself like this. I need to go to the bathroom. Go ahead. I need to puke, okay? Go ahead. This is my bathroom! Get out of my bathroom! Stop it! I don't want you in here. I'm disgusting, okay? Don't you dare. Is that how you talk to your patients? Don't you dare.
night. <laughs> Pretty special you got that right. Please stop it, Beth. Three years. What? <laughs> I've been doing it for three years. <laughs> I need to go away somewhere. Do you want to go to your dad's? <laughs> God, no. Dad's not up for this. Oh my gosh, my heart's really pounding. Wow. I can hear it in my ears. You know what? My hair's falling out. Big handfuls of it. It's pretty scary, huh? <laughs> Maybe you can find me someplace safe. You think our not sitting down to a decent meal contributed to this? I hope you're not blaming yourself, Nina. Darling, you are the most wonderful mother. Look, this situation proves that even a professional whose job it is Mom, to see these you things have to stop doing that. Doing what? Determining what I'm thinking, and then what I should do about it. I'm not telling you what to do. I don't know what to do. That's what I'm trying to explore. I'm not thinking about this in terms of blame, okay? Of course not, dear. You can't. That's what I'm saying. It's too much. Oh. Nina? You're a mother. Your child gets hurt, and you will do everything you to protect her. In that way, we are the same. It is a mother's purpose. It's the opposite of what I want to do with Beth right now, okay? Okay. I, I was just saying that uh, you want to protect her. Like you're trying to protect me. <laughs> and is there anything wrong with that? I'm interested in Beth right now, Mom. I'm interested in what she's thinking, what she's deciding, what she's changing about herself. From where I stand. Well, move. We need to move, Mom. She's trying to see things as they are, very painful things. I can't protect her from the hurt because it's real. So the least we can do is get out of the way. Hey. OK. Thank you. I thought it was funny. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. <laughs> it's for when you come home. Mom. Has it been a good day? Yeah, I'm down to two hours observation after meals. Progress? Good. Um, I need a favor. Anything? Well, um, you know, I was thinking maybe if Daddy didn't visit for a while. Okay. He calls me gorgeous, and it's just, it's really hard. He cries and says how he failed me, and, 
how much I mean to him, and, you know, I can't talk to him. You want me to talk to him? Would be good. Am I getting a message? <clears throat> well, if I ask him not to come. Sure. Just for a little while. Sure. Will you kiss me goodnight? Are you going to bed? <laughs> no. <laughs> but for later? Oh. You never to be scared. What's gonna happen to us? You're gonna get well. Mom. Okay, things are gonna change. It's gonna take time. Eventually they'll get better. There are terrible things in the world. Terrible things going on. I think it's your job to fix them. Don't you? Oh, baby. Hello, Edward. Hey, Nina. I've kind of been waiting. Oh? How is she? Well, we're taking things moment to moment. Could you tell her something for me? It's just a little embarrassing. I just, I think she'll like it. Sophia and I are going out. <laughs> well, congratulations. I'll let her know. It's my first relationship. I might need professional help. <laughs> Sophia's a lucky girl. Is she lonely, Beth? She wants to be alone. From you, I doubt it. I think so. I'm sorry. That's private. I know her pretty well, though. She likes it when you're listening, you know? As opposed to anyone else. Thank you, Edward. I was wondering if I could speak with John. It's terrible that I didn't call first. Why didn't you? I think I was scared. Well, um, John took the baby to the park, but come on in. First off, let me apologize for never taking you up on your offer. What's that? that we get together. I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. I thought you wanted us to go to dinner or something. Well, um, no. Actually, I I'm always telling John I, I don't understand the purpose of pretending. I never understood what good it was doing Beth to pretend. Really? Well, yeah. I'd never expect you to hang out with us. A person needs time to grieve. Beth didn't get much of that. It never was okay for her to cry about you and John. Hey, uh, I, I don't want to analyze when that's not my job. Neither do I. I must be very hard for you. Like asking me not to buy a new pair of shoes. <laughs> if you're here to ask John not to visit Beth. I'm ahead of you. He really loves her. And now that he knows what Beth has gone through, all this pain is coming up. This is not a good time for him to be around her. Well, this is hard. But I, I see it as a gift. And when I see Beth next, I'm gonna thank her. That little girl pulled down the dirty curtains, didn't she? 
that's a good way to put it. Rachel! Um, my dad's waiting in the car. I needed to say goodbye to you. I'm leaving tomorrow. Where to? My grandma's. Where's that? Florida. She likes me. Well, you're a good daughter. I'm really glad we could say goodbye. Do you have a daughter? I do. Does she live at your house? Well, actually, she's in the hospital right now. Oh, is she sick? Yeah. Well, better not keep my dad waiting. I'll love you forever. Me too, Rachel. You want me to walk you out? large Pacific oysters here, and you want to embed it in the crevice there, making sure it's in firm so that's not going to slip and cut your hand. Make sure you always use the towel, pop the oyster, and then you want to take it and cut along the edge, just like this. Hello. Hey, honey. <laughs> you sound so happy. Um, I just, I was wondering if, um, you could pick me up a few things. Um, maybe you could bring them to me. I miss you. Dr. Broder said you'd come here a lot. With Karen. She likes to read and I like to draw, so... How old is she? She's 16. She has anorexia. She's been here the longest, so... So she's a friend? We relate. In group, when we're talking, it's, um... It's sort of like she knows what I mean. That's comforting. Kind of feel sorry for her, though. How come? I think the hospital changes you. You sit around in group talking about really deep stuff, you know, that the average, like, 20-year-old doesn't even talk about. And it's just, I'm just gonna leave here. You know, everything's gonna be all, oh, he's so cute, you know, and did you see that TV show, and whatever. It's just gonna feel like it's so superficial. It's a weird world. Yeah. She'll be able to handle it, though. I like hearing that. I see. If it's uh, private, I understand. No, it's not that. But it's just, it's better if I show you something first. Cover your eyes. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're almost there. Are we there? Yeah, you can open. Okay. Oh, my. 
my goodness. Wow. See? <gasps> I tried to get it from all the angles. <laughs> <laughs>